What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here. Welcome you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, a lot of crazy shenanigans happened, um, which is insanity, and we're here for it. But hop right into it then. That's all we have to do. Let's get this going. Let's get this show on the road. I am nervous. I did say I wanted you guys to nervous. But this is still a questionable starting topic. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? A loaded one. This world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true. And that lie will become truth. But there's no way I can leave it unanswered. We already start out with the hangman's gambit. Okay. I'm looking for the letter V. There's the letter V. I. No! Ow, ow. Shoot. I was like, I knew that one. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Hey. So, this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? It's all just one big game. Uh, are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? Oh my god. That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I know, I know. The all-in-your-mind trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Cause it's a game. Then... We were forced to kill each other. Cause it's a game. A lot of crazy shit happened. Cause it's a game. Oh my god. People here. Cause it's a game. Monokuma's nonsensical abilities. Cause it's a game. Oh my god. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I know you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. So, just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not say we're fictional characters. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Which means your body still exists in the real world. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world, as if you're dreaming or something. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not aviators, but... Avatars. Avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. 
What did you remove? The specific thing that was removed from our body. So he's definitely talking about our school memories. I see. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? Which means we're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy? So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. How'd we end up talking about sci-fi crap? Of how oh. many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game! The world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed to it if we don't accept that. Is believing him really the only thing we have can do? Oh, sh shoot. Okay, argument. First argument. Reserve department, tragedy, the tragedy, the killing school life, the remnants of despair, list of senators. Oh my god, so much stuff going on. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered the school. But your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! There There's is nine real things. World? I'm a human being with a real body. If you're not, if you're going to agree with me, I'd rather have you provide a better argument than that. They might be talking about the tragedy. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memory, but your actual bodies, and though you have no memories of your time living your school, your real bodies actually live that life. No, okay, they're not talking about the tragedy. Actually live that life. No, it's not about... Okay. Crap. Hmm. Actual bodies in the real... Though you have no memories of your time living your... Your real bodies actually live that life. No. no. Memories of your time living your school life. Crap. Memories of your time living your school life. Avatar. I'm a human being with a real body. I'm a human being with a real body. I'm a human being with a real body. That doesn't. Mm. Your school life, your real bodies actually live. There it is. That must be it. That took me a long time to get that. Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There's a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Look like an adult? What does that mean? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. And you were saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hiyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. Uh, I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. No, hold on. We didn't know each other before, and we didn't. We wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other. Then wouldn't he have noticed a difference? You're the only one! Hey, Uyuhiko, you knew Peko for a long time, right? Yeah, now that you mention it, seems weird. No, 
Now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What if? Our school memories. About how many days' worth were taken away. As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future Foundation would know the details, but around two or three years' worth, I assume. That long? Pekko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years' worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories. End of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world. And we're virtual avatars. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. In a distant country, there was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just... Forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? We're really just connected to machines and stuff. And... Our consciousness was uploaded into here, so we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on... Of course, that's also a virtual world. That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why, in the end... Whoa. It was all just a creation. That's the truth. What? The truth is, the truth is that it was all a lie. That is the world's if, truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, Everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Uh, then that must mean... That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Mm, part of me doesn't believe that. I have a feeling... That peeps got disconnected. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. So, so you were mm, saying mm, everyone mm, is still mm, alive? Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Mm, no. No way. <laughs> yup. 
What's so funny? That's all there is. If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Yup. And because they died in the virtual world and it was a believable lie. Don't tell me. You mean. The Neo World program isn't just any game. It's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. Yup. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too. Yup, they got disconnected. What? Then everyone who died. It's not like their bodies are completely dead. So I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? Yep. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? <laughs> I hate the truth of that statement. What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? Then, Monomi and Shiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then, they were taken out. Dear. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation. Mm, I kind of I disagree with that. I don't I don't think that's the case. The Future Foundation is our real enemy. Is that is that really it? Logic dive? Oh no! Oh god! We're making arguments. Oh god! Oh jeez, the wheeze. None of what I expected. The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation. No. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys. Then the Future Foundation is truly an organization of evil. No. Who's our enemy? Is it the Future Foundation? No, it's not. The Neo World will make a killing game. If this is all a game, then there's no doubt it's uh, this is a killing game, right? Then what are we forced to do? No, this is it's not this one. We uh, a group that would make a killing game. Didn't make it though. I mean, a group that would no, that's wrong. There it is. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. But then, why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be that virus is? You're right. Until Monokuma appeared. This island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah, it didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Correct. Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject. But that's also something we need to clear up. Monami or Usami's role was the teacher chaperone. What? Oh, she must have been the observer. I see. So then Chiaki had the teacher privileges. Interesting! Oh, so Chiaki actually had more privileges than Monami. That's right. She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer. NPC? What's that? Non playable uh, character. Character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. 
Monami's existence was created entirely by the program, just to monitor the 15 of you. <gasps> Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? Have you forgotten how to count? We're 16 people in total. Chiaki's also a created NPC. I think it was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? Another observer? The future foundation's other observer has to be Chiaki. I see. Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers in the Neo World program. One of them was Monami, and the other one was. Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? That would explain why she got tired often and you couldn't interact with her in long spurts unlike anybody else so you're saying she was just a program and she didn't actually exist in real life that's insane but then she wasn't human she didn't exist at all not no, human that's not it chiaki was really alive even if she was a virtual existence she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character. Shut up! Plus, Damn. She wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable World Ender. World Ender. Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. Do not joke about the world ending. No, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also world ender. At least for those of us here. For everyone who's what here. Do you mean, those of us here. Why are you lumping us with you? It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? Why don't you just show us your true self already? What, you can't talk? It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived. Huh? Main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender. Makoto. It's going to be Makoto. It's about to be Makoto. Yep. Oh. Rather, the fault lies. Oh my God. Okay. I. I. Okay. Like Makoto talked to us. I had a feeling it was gonna be Makoto. You guys. All right. I was waiting for you, Makoto. You finally arrived. Makoto. My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Then hurry up and save us! He can't necessarily do that. Hey, what happened? What is this? He's acting a bit strange. This guy's attitude. It's as if he's being cautious of us. Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. Exactly. The situation Why we're in. I think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program. Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here. That's not, no. We, we need to fully accept everything that's going on. So that we can be able to, you know, help others. The Neo World Program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. The Hope Restoration Program? By now, you should understand your true identity. Huh? Our true identity? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Wait, Monokuma was here intentionally? 
put it together and think. Logic dive. Monokuma was put in intentionally by probably by Makoto. Uh well shoop new gets. That's the remnants of despair situation. We have three questions on this exit on this one. Oh crap. Question one. Who were the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Makoto and the others. No. It was red. Hayame and the others. I kind of expected it to be Makoto. Not gonna lie. Gotta remember what the Y button is, is pertinent here. Who were the remnants of despair? Monokuma. Which is what infested the thing. No! We were we were acting as part of both? What? Okay. Wait, why were we acting as both parties then? Unintentional jump saving lives, okay. We were acting as both. Why were Hayame and the others put into the Neo world? It was to recover from. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of Ultimate Despair are. Yes, both of those phrases refer to you guys. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of Ultimate Despair. We're all Ultimate Despair? Don't be stupid. In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world despair in human form but utterly devoid of humanity that's what you guys really are the ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals they just spread despair everywhere they go they live solely to torment everything to burn everything to kill everything jeez we're part of a dangerous group like that Th that's gotta be a lie no that's right there's no way there's no way we're all ultimate despair nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth nagito why are you bringing him up all of a sudden he's the only one who knew this truth before you guys it was a special prize for clearing the final dead room was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details. Details about the missing memories. Information from the time that we spent at Hope Speak Academy. He ripped it out. He ripped them out somehow. It's not written here. These profiles must be must have been written before we entered the Academy. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered yep. the Academy. But Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Yep. Ex uh, pretty expected. Why? Why do you know something like that? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, 
What did he try to do to you guys? Murder us all. When Nagito learned the truth, what did he try to do to us? Are you telling us to answer that? Is it Hangman's Gambit? Probably, yes. Is it going to be murder us or kill... Kill... It's kill us all. Trying to be the he tried to kill everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the fire, he learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. I sort of understand that. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. <clears throat> you were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The Junko. true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family friends and even your own body family friends and our own bodies aren't you exaggerating a bit probably not he's right there's no way we do something like that don't turn away from the truth 